In this lesson, we want to explain the work on the axis of the objects. For example, we insert a cube. As we can see, the axis of the object is exactly in the middle of the object. For example, we turn it into the door. We choose this handle and change. And we want to rotate it from the corner. So, we have to change its axis location. Click on Enable button, Enable Access button, and it will be active. As you can see, a square appears in the middle of the axis, indicating that we can move the axis. But it does not move because it is parametric object. So, we make it editable. Now, we can move the axis. Then, be sure to turn off the uh, enable access button so that it does not change anymore accidentally. Then we can easily rotate the object relative to loca location axis. Okay. Now we want to exp uh, explain the work on access of the polygons. To do this, insert a new cube. <clears throat> then make it editable. Then we enter the polygon mode and select one of the one of the objects and one of the polygonal objects. As you can see, its axis appear in the exactly in the center of the polygon. Like our other objects, you can use the move, rotate, or escape tool for transform them. Now we click on a move tool to display its settings. In the, in the axis tab, there are settings related to the modeling axis, which is to change the axis of the polygon or edges. As you can see, by moving this slider, we can easily change the location of the axis. This method is very accurate, but if you want to change for it, uh, for it for free, you can easily do it with the enable access button. Okay. We deactivate it. Now, after changing the axis, you can rotate it to see how the axis change. There are now two ways to change axis. You can specify where the axis is located in the position menu. And you can specify the orientation of the axis in the orientation menu. To explain this, I import a few objects and put them together as a child, parent, and root. Okay, and make them editable. Select all and make editable. Now we select the cube again and then go to the polygon mode and select this polygon. To appear settings, you have to click on a move tool again. In a position menu, the default mode is unselected. The axis is, uh, is on the center of the same polygon that we selected. The word mode moves the axis to the center of the sound software. Object mode. In object mode, there are two modes for this. As you can see, the axis was moved to the center of the main object on which the polygon is, is, in, is, in, is on it. Or you can move it to axis of another object. This space called object has been activated. And you can enter the object here. For example, I insert another another object and move it, and we return to the settings. Now you can easily select object and click and drag and release the object from object manager into this empty space. 
to move the polygon axis to the object axis. Or use this eye dropper and select the object from object manager. To delete, the, to delete this object, click on this icon and clear. Okay, to explain the following status, we change the shape of the object slightly. Change the point to make a new object. Okay. Root mode moves the axis center to the root object. And the parent mode moves the axis to the ob uh, axis of the parent object. Very easy. But the bounds mode is related to the boundaries of the object. If we select the object in a model mode, you will be see that there is an orange border to show the selected object in a cinema of in a cinema 4D. But if we go to the edit menu, then preferences, then view for display, and here unchecked outline you see the boundaries boundaries of object well we go back to the polygon axis setting and select the bounds in the orient menu and with these sliders you can move the axis place on these boundaries Point mode. The axis move to average of a point position. Camera mode. Change the axis based on the camera. As you can see, the Z axis is facing the camera and is exactly in the center of the screen. And you can move the axis whenever you change the camera. Wherever you change the camera. Free mode is exactly like activating the, the enable access button. Well, now we return to selected mode and we explain orientation menu. We manage the object with this menu, we manage the access rotation mode. The axis mode means that it is exactly perpendicular to the polygons and it is default mode. World mode align the axis to the center of the software. Root Change the direction of the axis align the axis of the root object. Parent Align the direction of access to the parent object normal to better understand this mode instead of the polygon are select two polygons and then select the axis to see the difference between now select the normal again and as you can see gives us a general axis along the average of normal axis now the align normal option here is activated move with the move tool now enable this option first deactivate the option and move the polygons and then enable this option and move the polygon notice the difference in the direction of the movements when this option is enabled the polygons move in the direction of their normal axis instead of moving the direction of the main axis as you can see the retain change option is also for when you have made changes to the axis of the polygon and you want to rest of the settings of polygon to remain the same Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, 
subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.